Hey, uh huh. You ready? Yeah. To see it? Yeah. To hear it? Uh huh. To mix it, move it, make it. Here we go. Hi Bambinos, praise the Lord and welcome to this week's episode. Bambinos, this week we have a very special episode in store for you. So just sit back, relax and enjoy. The theme for this week's episode is God is love. And what a beautiful statement that is. And how true that is. We read in the Bible in the book of 1 John chapter 4 verse 16. It says, God is love. And those that abide in love, abide in God, and God abides in them. So Bambinos, without any further ado, let's look into the Bible verse for this week. So let's do it together Bambinos. One, two, three. Here we go Bambinos. Let's go and learn this week's Bible verse. Praise the Lord. Hi Bambinos, you are most welcome to our new episode. And today, as we start this episode today, we are in a special place. We are in front of the Blessed Sacrament. And let us bow down in front of the Blessed Sacrament and worship Him. And then we will learn the Word of God that we are supposed to learn today. Let us bow down in front of the Blessed Sacrament. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Whenever we are in the presence of the Blessed Sacrament and bow down in front of the Blessed Sacrament and worship Him, we receive special grace, special anointing and special protection. And that is why we have today, this week episode, we start in the presence of the Blessed Sacrament and we receive this blessing and the graces from the Blessed Sacrament. And today we are going to learn this Bible passage that is um, the Gospel of John chapter 15, verse 13. The Word of God says, No one has greater the love than this to lay down one's life for his friends. So this is very important. The greatest love is sacrificing your life for your friend, for your husband, for your wife, for your children, for your parents, for everyone. So when you are ready to sacrifice your life for others, that is the greatest and the most powerful love. And this week we are understanding and knowing and uh, reflecting about God's love. So may God bless you and learn this Bible passage and understand the meaning of it and start sacrificing your time, energy, power, everything for your friend, for your brother, for your parents. You will see blessings coming to you. May God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you very much. Wow, Bambinos, what an amazing Bible verse that is. John chapter 15, verse 13. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Now, Bambinos, we as Christians believe this is agape love, the unconditional love. And that is truly that. No one can do anything greater than to lay down one's life for one's friends. Now, Bambinos, remember this Bible verse, all right? And on this note, let's move into this week's story. As I hand over to Daifin, who's going to talk about the greatest command. So let's do it together, Bambinos. One, two, three. Here we go, Bambinos. Let's go and learn this week's story. Hello, Bambinos. How are you doing today, Bambinos? This week's topic is God is love. And Bambinos, we can connect that to the greatest commandment. Now, Bambinos, do you know what the greatest commandment is? Well, 
it was something said by Jesus in the Gospels, but we'll get to that later. You may be thinking, I know the Ten Commandments, so one of the Ten Commandments has to be one of the greatest commandments. Well, the Ten Commandments are, I am the Lord your God, you should have no other God before me. The second commandment is, you shall not take the Lord your God's name in vain. The third commandment is, you shall keep the Sabbath day holy. Bambinos, do you know what the Sabbath day is? Yes, it is Sunday, but in the old Jewish time, the Sabbath day they thought was Saturday. The fourth commandment is, honour your father and mother. The fifth commandment is, do not murder or kill. The sixth commandment is, do not commit adultery. The seventh commandment is, do not steal. So don't take anyone else's belongings. The eighth commandment is, do not bear falseness against your neighbour. That means don't lie about other people and say they've done something or accuse them of doing something that they didn't actually do. You're just lying. The ninth commandment is do not bear false witness against your neighbor's wife. The same thing. And the tenth and last commandment is do not covet your neighbor's good, which means to not want what other people want and be jealous of them. Bambinos, you might be thinking, surely. These, some of these are great sins and some of these you have to follow. So some of these have to be the greatest commandment. Well, Bambinos, could it be do not kill? Because that's very important, taking away a human life that God has created. But again, Bambinos, you might be thinking, well, it has to be do not steal. You're not allowed to go around stealing people's stuff, are you? Well, Bambinos, actually, it's none of these. Jesus explains and summarizes what the two most important commandments are, the greatest commandments. He says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, strength and might. And he also says one more, love the neighbor as you love yourself. If you don't know what a neighbor is, Bambinos, he says this in the story about the person that gets beaten up on the way to Jericho. Who is your neighbor? A man was walking on his way to Jericho when suddenly he got beaten up by some bad robbers. They stole all his possessions and belongings and he was lying there half dead. But when he was lying there, a priest came by and you might have thought, oh wait, the priest is going to go and help him and he's going to save his life. But no, instead, the priest just walked away. And then another holy man came and the holy man didn't even stop by to help. The only other person that stopped by to help was the Samaritan, the Good Samaritans. In the olden days, the Jews and the Samaritans weren't friends. They were the most biggest enemies ever and they hated each other. But this Samaritan was different. He helped his fellow brother Jew and saved his life, took him to an inn and paid all his expenses. And then Jesus asked, who do you think the neighbour was? And the neighbour was the Good Samaritan the one that used to be his biggest enemy. Bambinos, this is when he says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Love anyone, love everyone. Bambinos, you might be thinking, then if this is the two greatest commandments and it summarizes all the 10 commandments, what is the point in the 10 commandments? Well, Bambinos, we can still use the 10 commandments because in a way, the two commandments and the 10 commandments relate the same way. The first greatest commandment is you should love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, strength and might. Bambinos, this relates to the first three of the Ten Commandments. You shall have no other God besides me. Do not take the Lord your God's name in vain and honour the Sabbath day which the Lord initiated. You can use this. And Bambinos, the next greatest commandment, you shall love your neighbour as you love yourself. This relates to the next seven commandments. Bambinos, if you love your neighbour as you love yourself, you will not hurt your neighbour, you will not kill him, and these all relate to the other seven commandments. But Bambinos, you might be thinking, how can you use these in your life? How can you ever say, hmm, how can I use the two greatest commandments? Well, Bambinos, loving the Lord your God, you can go to church every day if you want, and you can ask your parents for their permission to go to church. And Bambinos, loving your neighbour as you love yourself, you can help your friends, even if you don't like them. My teacher once told me a very important thing. Even if you do not like someone, you still have to be kind to them. You have to show respect towards them, even if you don't like them. You don't have to be friends, 
but still be kind. That means you can also obey the commandments by taking care of the planet, planting trees, and don't litter bambinos. Don't throw throw your trash all into the bin, bambinos. Bambinos, can you think of any other ways you can follow the two greatest commandments? Hmm. Let me think. I need some time. Oh yes, bambinos, you can be not stingy, and you can share all your belongings with your friends, and you can pray for your friends and for your enemies. Bambinos, Jesus says something in the Gospels. He says, even don't only love the people that love you for even the tax collectors and sinners do that love even your enemies and pray for those who persecute you bambinos you should always pray for others prayer is a weapon and it is very powerful different forms and devotions of prayer are the rosary the divine mercy and there are so many others i can't even name them all well bambinos by following these two greatest commandments loving god with all your heart soul strength and might and loving your neighbor as you love yourself bambinos you are following all the 10 commandments that thousands of years ago god gave to moses on mount sinai bambinos i hope you learned about the 10 commandments see you next time wow bambinos what a beautiful explanation that was by dyfin about the greatest command now bambinos Do you know what part of the episode it is? That's right. It's your favorite part of the episode. And mine too. It's time for the art and craft section. So bambinos, let's pause our video here. Let's go and get all of our art supplies and come back and let's do it together bambinos. 1 2 3. Here we go bambinos. Let's go and do some art and craft. Bambinos, welcome back to this week's art and crafts. Last week, I hope you guys really enjoyed the magnifying glass. You know, Bambinos, this week's episode is all about God is love. So, what do you think we're making? Well, we're making a heart necklace to remind us that God is always with us, and so that God loves us all the time. Let's get straight to it. Bambino, so this craft you're going to need two pieces of a pair of paint, print stick, glitter, a marker pen, and some ribbon. So let's get to it. For the first step, Bambinos, you should fold your paper. Then, Bambinos. Draw one half of a heart. To make sure you draw the heart on the side where it's sealed. For the next step, Bambinos, cut out your heart. Then you will also have eight hearts. So your hearts should end up looking something like this. Bambinos, because our necklace isn't all going to be the same type of heart, we're going to do another row, but smaller hearts this time. This time it might be better you fold your piece of paper one more time. And just like before, draw your heart. Be nice that you've now got some cuts as well as some little hearts. If you would like to do it now, some glitter on some of your heart. Now you see bambinos that we have put glitter on some of our hearts. Then after that, if you want to, you can put some paint on your remaining hearts. So bambinos, now that our hearts are ready, all to go for the necklace, we're going to take our ribbon and slowly adjust each heart, all mostly separate, and add them each onto the necklace ribbon. 
then stick every single piece of heart onto our ribbon. Now bambinos, that we've varied out all of our hearts, making some plain and then with glitter and some of them green, and we've painted them and coloured them all in and stuck them to our silver necklace, we can write three words, which will be, God is love. Now this will always remind us that God is love and how you wear the necklace on you, that God's love is always on you and with you. So Bambinos, don't you see how beautiful? You could either stick this on your walls, wear it as a bracelet, wear it as a necklace, or think of something else. Isn't this so cool? I hope you had lots of fun. See you next week and I hope all of you do this arts and crafts, send in your work. See you next week, bye. God bless you. Wow Bambinos, that was some real fun. Bambinos, I've taken a look at some of your artwork from last week and it is really beautiful. Bambinos, you guys are really talented and most of your artwork is much, much better than mine. Now Bambinos, before we move on to the Saint of the Week, we're going to pause the video again and put away all our art supplies. Okay, I hope you've done it already. So Bambinos, we move on to the Saint of the Week as we go over to Dylan. Let's do it together Bambinos. One, two, three. Here we go Bambinos, let's go and look at our Saint of the Week. Hi Bambinos, hope you're enjoying this week's episode. Today we're going to look at the Saint of the Week. This week's Saint of the Week is Saint Dwenin. He's the Welsh patron saint for love. Bambinos, did you know that Saint Dwenin was one of 24 daughters and the legend has it that she was the prettiest. Dwenin's father had arranged a marriage for her but Saint Dwenin was in love with a prince called Melon Daffodil. Saint Dwenin asked God to help her forget about Melon. So God sent an angel with a sweet potion that would help Dwenin forget about her love but would also put Melon in a block of ice. In her dreams, Dwenin asked God for three wishes. Her first wish was to set Melon free from the block of ice. Her second wish was to help all true lovers and their dreams come true. And her third wish was that she should never marry anyone else. God fulfilled all her dreams and Saint Dwenin became a nun. He died in 465 AD. Saint Dwenin decided to devote her life to God and become a nun. He founded Coven in Landwin in Wales. She died on 465 AD and her feast day became Valentine's Day in Wales. This day is January 25th, also known as the Patron Saint Day of Saint Dwenin. This is different from all of our Valentine's Days because links in with the rest of the theme of today's episode about God is love. Her convent came a place for young lovers to come and pray to God for their, for their dreams to come true and love to work. This links in with the rest of the theme of today's episode about God is love. Okay Bambinos, that was all for the saint of this week. Do more research about Saint Dwayne and, and about what she's done in her life saying that we can learn about together. Thank you bye Bambinos, hope you enjoy the next part, bye. Wow Bambinos, that was a really interesting story about Saint Dwenin. Bambinos, do you know what time it is now? That's right Bambinos, it's time for our action song. So Bambinos, now we're going to dance just like King David did. So let's do it together Bambinos. One, two, three. Here we go Bambinos, let's go and dance for the Lord. Praise the Lord, my lovely Bambinos. Bambinos, today's topic is God is love. Yes, Bambinos, we cannot forget one thing that Jesus is love. When I say that Jesus is love, I'm going to ask you some questions now. And you answer them for me. Bambinos, you know, there are so many countries in the world. Uh, some examples I'll give you like um, England and so many other countries have a queen or a king. I'll ask you something. Do you think this queen or do you think the other kings and the queens around the world, if someone tells them that if you die or if you suffer for the people of your country, 
all the people of your country are going to be saved. They are going to be saved from their sin. They are going to be saved from all the pain, suffering, sorrows, and they are going to live a long life, happy life. Do you think this king and the queen will die for you, will die for me, or will die for the people of their country? No chance. Bamino, do you think the so-called footballers who we say the best footballers in the world or we idolize them, we, we support them, we support uh, the celebrities, the singers, the film stars, the movie stars, the actors, the actresses, cricketers, basketball players, do you think if someone tells them or if we tell them to die for us so that we may be saved, do you think they'll die for you? Do you think they'll die for me? No chance. But I'll tell you who died for you, who died for me. There is this one God, one true God. 2000 years ago, he was sent from heaven by the creator, the creator of the universe, the creator of you, the creator of me. He was sent down in human form, although he was God. He didn't consider himself even as God, but he came down as a human being in our body. What he did was he suffered for us. He was pierced, you know, nails were pierced into his palms. There were holes in his palms, two holes made in his feet. He was pierced. He had over 5,000 wounds. You know, if, even if we get one small cut on a body we start crying but this god one true god he didn't ha he didn't have to do it but he, he he chose to die for you he chose to die for me and you know who is he his name is jesus this is true love jesus is love. Bambino is speaking about Jesus being the only true love. One classic song that comes to my mind, we have taken it in the past seasons of Bambino, but we have to take it this time. And that is God's love is so wonderful. Yes, lovely Bambinos, the love of Jesus is so wonderful that no matter how high you go, you can't get over it, no matter how deep you bend, you can't go under it, no matter how wide you open your arms, you can't get over it. So wonderful is the love of Jesus. Here we go, Bambinos. Is so wonderful, God's love is so wonderful, God's love is so wonderful, oh wonderful love. God's love is so wonderful, God's love is so wonderful, God's love is so wonderful, oh wonderful love. So high, you can get over it so It's so wonderful, oh wonderful love God's love is so wonderful God's love is so wonderful God's love is so wonderful oh wonderful love So deep you can get under it so deep 
You come get under it so deep You come get under it Oh, wonderful love So deep You come get under it so deep You come get under it so deep You come get under it Oh, wonderful love God's love is so wonderful God's love is so wonderful God's love is so wonderful Oh, wonderful love God's love is so wonderful God's love is so wonderful God's love is so wonderful Oh, wonderful love So why you can get around it So why you can get around it So why you can get around it Oh, wonderful love So why you can get around it So why you can get around it So why you can get around it Oh, wonderful love God's love is so wonderful God's love is so wonderful God's love is so wonderful Oh Wonderful love, God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. Wonderful love, oh, wonderful love. All right, Bambinos, that was some real fun. But now we move on to the most important part. We're going to go for our final blessing. Hi, Bambinos, you're most uh, uh, thank. We thank you for uh, uh, joining today and watching this episode and enjoying it. And we were in the presence of, we started with the presence of the Blessed Sacrament and now we are concluding in the presence of the Blessed Sacrament. And let's look at the Blessed Sacrament and receive the glory, receive the grace, receive the anointing. And let us pray, looking at the Blessed Sacrament, let us pray together. Abba Father, I pray for all these children who were attending this Bambino program for the many months and many weeks. Lord, bless them in a special way as they know and uh, study the Bible passages and the Word of God and learn more and more knowledge about God. Let them grow spiritually, not only physically I and mean emotionally, but also spiritually. May Almighty God bless all these children and their future, their studies, their family members, their relatives and their, their friends in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Now, Bambinos, we've done our story. We've looked at our Bible verse, we've had our Saint of the Week, we've done some art and craft, and we've danced for the Lord. What time is it now, Bambinos? Do you know? That's right, it's quiz time. So Bambinos, I'm sure you already know how this works. We have five questions and we have 10 seconds each to answer them. So Bambinos, Let's get right into it. Our first question is, what was this week's Bible verse? And your four options are A, John chapter 15 verse 13, B, Luke chapter 15 verse 13, C, Mark chapter 15 verse 13, and D, Matthew chapter 18 verse 13. 10 seconds on the clock, Bambinos. Your time starts now. That's right, Bambinos. Did you say John chapter 15 verse 13? That's right. So Bambinos, let's move on to our second question. When Donna did her art and craft, what did she write in her necklace? Did she write A, Jesus I love you? Did she write B, God is love? Did she write C, John chapter 3 verse 16? Or did she write D, Jesus I trust in you? 10 seconds on the clock Bambinos, your time starts now. Bambinos, did I hear you right? That's right Bambinos, it was B, God is love. 
Moving on to our third question, Bambinos. Do you know when the feast day of St. Dwenin is? Let's look at our four options. Option A, January the 25th. Option B, February the 25th. Option C, September the 25th. Or option D, October the 25th. 10 seconds on the clock, Bambinos. So, Bambinos, that's absolutely right. It's January the 25th. So, Bambinos, let's move on to our fourth question. And this week, we have a very special surprise for you. We have two general knowledge questions. And you already know how this works. We don't have any options for these ones. So, Bambinos, question number four is, do you know the Bible verse that goes like this? For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that those who believe in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. Do you know what Bible verse that is, Bambinos? Bambinos? If you said John chapter 3 verse 16, you are absolutely correct. So Bambinos, we move on now to our fifth and final question of the quiz round. So Bambinos, in the Bible, what man is described as a man after God's own heart? Bambinos, if you said King David, you are absolutely right. Now Bambinos, with the end of our quiz round, we've also come to the end of our episode. Now, your challenge for this week is to finish up your heart necklaces and send it in to the email address that you can see on the screen right now. Remember, Bambinos, it's for all of our beautiful Bambinos to look at them. So, with that, we have to conclude our episode. Bambinos, we really hope that it was a joy for you watching it. It was a true joy for us producing it for you. With that, I'm going to have to say bye-bye and see you next week. And remember, Jesus loves you. Is do not covet. No, 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 no. One, no, no, no. Uh, Okay, the come. One, two, three. Hi, Bambinos. Praise the Lord and welcome to this week's episode. Bambinos, this week we have a very special episode for. La, la, la. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Friends, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Hey. You ready? Yeah. To see it? Yeah. To hear it? Uh-huh. To mix it, move it, make it. Here we go. B A M B I N O Bambino. Let's go Bambino. Thank you.